It's no surprise these days to see youngsters riding motorcycles. There's lots of different makes and models available, ranging from fully automatic rev and go style, through semi-automatic to full motorcycle configuration with gears and a clutch. And if the rider hasn't quite developed the skills for two wheelers, then how about a quad? Not only are there bikes available for youngsters, but there's a full range of clothing to go with them. Everything from colourful motocross gear, including boots and helmets, to the more traditional leather styles. Perhaps even a pair of cool shades. And if your budding biker feels the need to get competitive, then there are junior motocross clubs scattered around the country. These clubs will guide the youngsters from as early as six years old and help them to develop the skills required to compete with the best. They also have regular race meetings throughout the year, which very often result in the parents getting more excited than the kids. But that's motocross. What about junior road racing? Well, at a recent club meeting at Three Sisters Racetrack in Lancashire, our very own big kid, Wayne, met up with a couple of up-and-coming young racers. Yes, indeed, and this is our young road racers. We've got Casey over here and we've got James over here. He's the slightly taller one. Casey, this road racing line, it's dangerous, you know. You know that, don't you? Yeah. But you're not bothered? No. Flipping out something wrong with these lads. Right then, how old are you then? 13. 13. How long have you been doing this? I've just started this year. Just one year? Yeah. And you do pretty good, I know, because I've watched you. You're yeah. fast, aren't you? Yeah. Did you have these leathers specially made? Yeah. Did you? There's not many cows in these, is there? They're no. only little, aren't they? Yep. Um, have you fell off? Yeah. Fell and? off last week. And did you hurt yourself? Yeah, I ran crutches. Were you? Yeah. You were not hang on a minute. What's your name Mick doing? He's the type of guy who has crutches one week and races the next. So you must be well hard. No. What did you do then that we were on crutches? I bruised my kneecap. You bruised your kneecap, but you're all right now? Yeah. You just don't kneel down? No. no scrubbing the kitchen floor? No. How did you get into doing uh, road racing then? My dad does it. Ah, does it? Is he a bit of a star? He's going to Isle of Man this year. Oh, is he? Is that, is that your ambition by any chance? Yeah. So you want to race in the Isle of Man? Yep. Flipping out. It'll be a few years yet before you'll do that though. Yep. But you've got to stick to this racing? Yeah. What bike do you use? Kawasaki AR80. An AR80. Don't you find it just a bit frightening? No. Must be somewhere wrong with me then. I find any two wheels frightening. Thanks very much, Casey. Let's have a word with James here. James, who's just a tad taller than he should be for his age. <laughs> or is it me that's just a tad too small for my age? I'm not sure. How long have you been doing it then, James? This is my first year. You're another, uh, well, I was going to say virgin, really, but uh, new to motorcycling then. How did you learn then? Uh, my dad does some training, local car yeah. track, and he showed me how to ride on one of the training bikes. Right then, and you just took to it. Did you rather do two wheels and four wheels then? Karting, not for you then? Not really, no. No, and what bike do you use? There's a Kawasaki R80 behind it's me. The one behind us, very nice too it is, I've been looking at it. Very shiny. You have to do all the maintenance? No, my dad does that, that's what he's for. Oh, wait till we have a word with your dad. That's what he's for, is it? And uh, I don't suppose he comes up with a bit of uh, readies as well? Yeah, he pays for it all, yeah. You've got it custy, haven't you? And how old are you then? Fifteen. Fifteen, and you're just uh, near to six foot? Just about, yep. Do you eat a lot of uh, like cereals in the morning or something? Not really. It must be something you're doing or eating or drinking. Do you drink a lot? Maybe that might be it. <laughs> I know what it is. You fell asleep in a greenhouse, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, gentlemen. Right. You're stars of the future. Mick doing it, your heart out. But it wasn't just small riders that were competing at this event. There were some rather small wheels on some of the other machines. Any guesses on this one? No, it's not a go-kart, but a quad. Racing quads are becoming very popular. They're fast and furious and often provide some very close races. And in the same class as the quads are these. Yes, it does look like an arcade game with its Space Age type cockpit, but this is actually a Honda Pilot. These machines started out as agricultural vehicles and were basically a CR500 motocross type engine in a small chassis.
But of course, boys being boys, they've been modified, souped up and tuned up and are now well respected in the world of motorsport. But hang on, this is supposed to be a bike meeting. Well, these quads and pilots may have four wheels, but they do spend a lot of their time on three or even two. There were some real three-wheelers at this meeting. Sidecars. Nothing fancy, no immaculate paint jobs and no huge trucks with enough spares to service a fleet of GP bikes. This is club racing, where funds are often tight and everybody gets their hands dirty. You really don't need to own a superbike to go racing. How about a moped? They too have their own class. Speeds might not be too impressive, but the competition is just as hot. There are more classes for solo machines at a club event than anything else. Everything from old classics to hot 600s competes for a share of the honours. There's a separate category for supermotos. These are bikes which started life as full motocross machines, but have now been fitted with improved brakes, stiffer suspension and some super sticky road tyres to cope with the demands of racing on tarmac. And they're very fast. Club meetings are full of variety. There's something for everyone, competitors and spectators alike. Some people go the whole hog and even bring their own barbie. Those who couldn't fit the barbie in the van simply improvise and set the bike on fire. So whether you're into sidecars, quads, solos or supermotos, it's all there at a club meeting. They take place all over the country. They normally cost just a few pounds to enter as a spectator and very often children get in for free. It's a great day out. But it was the juniors that impressed us the most, 11 to 15 year olds racing round a track. And we'll be covering a full junior road race meeting in the future on two wheels.